Hello, I am Dr. Sandeep Verma, consultant neurosurgeon, currently working at Pace Hospital, ITIC City, Hyderabad. Today we are going to discuss about head injury. Neurotrauma refers to any injury occurring to brain and spinal cord caused by sudden assault or a force acting on the body. Head injury can occur due to very various causes like fall, road traffic accident, assault, sports injury, etc. Symptoms of head injury can occur from varying intensity. It can be as simple as a headache to vomiting, dizziness, loss of consciousness, epilepsy, neurological deficits like weakness, coma. Risk factors for head injuries are drivers, motorcycle drivers who don't wear helmets, construction workers without safety equipment, children during playtime or any sports injuries, old age people who have tendency to fall at home or while work or mostly in washroom etc. These are the most common risk factors for traumatic brain injury. Complications of head injury can be post concussion syndrome or more severe complications like intracranial hemorrhage, epilepsy, respiratory deficit, need for ventilator support, weakness of limbs, bowel and bladder, incompetence. Diagnostic tests for head injury are most commonly used as CT brain, MRI brain and MRI spine. We can also diagnose head injuries if CT and MRI are not available using X-rays also, which, through which we can identify any skull fractures or any vertebral fractures. Treatment for head injury depends on the severity. Okay. Simple head injuries can be treated by observation, medication and rehabilitation. Complicated head injuries may need surgery, prolonged ICU care, ventilator support, prolonged physiotherapy and neuro rehabilitation. Head injuries can be prevented by simple precautions like wearing seat belts while traveling in a car, wearing helmets in a, while traveling on bike, safety precautions at workplace like helmets and handrail, educating children about sports related injuries and how to play sports safely and taking care of old age people. These are various ways how to prevent head injuries. Vomiting after head injury, especially continuous multiple vomitings even without having any food and vomiting projectile vomiting are dangerous signs after head injury. They indicate increased in intracranial pressure and may immediately need intervention from a neurosurgeon. Head injuries may lead to visual problems like blurring of vision, diplopia, photophobia, etc. These occur due to damage to optic nerve or other optic pathways in the brain. Usually, head injuries are not known to cause brain tumors. Healing time of head injury varies with the intensity of the head injury. A simple concussion or post concussion can heal within 2 to 3 weeks and severe head injuries like diffuse axonal injury or intracranial hematoma or con contusions may take months or sometimes years to heal completely or some critical head injuries will not heal at all. Maximum we can get is functional ability of the patient. Yes, headaches can occur after traumatic brain injury or head injury. This can be due to as simple as concussion to as major as skull fracture, intracranial hematoma, etc. Take home message from our today's video is head injury even trivial or small can lead to permanent lifelong damage. It is better to get evaluated as early as possible by a trained doctor or a neurosurgeon who is available near your facility.